Something of a legacy institution celebrating trans women in San Francisco, and it is closing. Asia SF has provided a space for entertainment and community in the SOMA for 25 years. Yeah, it's really popular, but uh, Crown Force Ellis Ogamonian reports that owners say it's just been tough to keep their doors open since the pandemic. Dozens of performers have graced the stage at Asia SF for more than two decades. Cataluna Enriquez grew up in the Bay Area and says it's the very space she now works in that encouraged her to be her authentic self. As a trans individual myself, I just know how hard it is to get a job uh, being trans without being discriminated and Asia SF has hired, you know, for 26 years. But after all those years in business, the renowned trans club is now closing its doors for good. Founder and CEO Larry Hashbarger admits that it was a tough decision, but the economic hardships in the wake of the pandemic were just too much to maintain. They say the only constant in life is change, and so uh, we have to change, we have to move forward, and just the, the economics of our situation at this point um, you know, are such that we, we need to make this really tough decision. So it's, it's, very, it's been very difficult. Over time, the place has become a premier destination for San Francisco nightlife, and together the staff have formed a family. And for the ladies at AJSF, this was more than just a stage. It was a place they can celebrate themselves and call home. As a performer myself, I, I, it's, it's just like I, I'm, on, I'm home. You know, I, uh, I'm in my element when I'm on stage. I'm really... Uh, I'm not trans, I'm just a performer. I'm there and people are watching me and celebrating me for my talent and what I can do on stage. And this is a place for me where I could really use my strength and my, 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 my passion for music, for dancing, for performing. Uh, and, and it goes, everything else just goes away and I'm just there in that moment. Though the brick and mortar location is shutting down for good, Hashbarger says that the legacy will live on through pop-up events in the future. We want to look at this as not the end, but really the beginning of a new opportunity where we can take what we do um, beyond the doors of Ninth and Howard to, you know, all across the city and the Bay Area and beyond. The last performance will take place on Trans Visibility Day, which is March 31st. Reporting in San Francisco, I'm Ellis Sigamonian, Cron 4 News.